Hello, I'm Douglas Miranda. I will be covering T-Rex applied to Surface raster data files with WaterGens for ArcMap. I'll show you how it works. In this exercise, we will apply T-Rex uh, using WaterGens for ArcMap to read a raster file and apply its elevation information to some existing nodes. So starting creating a new a new file using as base a blank map. Let's add our existing hydraulic model. Selecting Bentley Water Gems file add existing hydraulic model. So accessing the the workshops dataset, there is a folder called Turex. Let's add the workshop fifteen file. So this is our hydraulic model. Uh, checking. Um, elevation, existing elevation information, we can uh, use our junction flex table to see there is no elevation information. Add nodes. Before running to Rex, a good suggestion is to add as a background your information to see if it is using the same spatial coordinates. So adding the D meters raster file available within the T-Rex folder. With double click, we can see that this the same coordinates were used. We also can see that there are some elements that's not completely inside the hosters um, boundary. So don't worry because Turex will advise us about these elements. So let's now load Turex using the Bentley Water Gems menu to Turex. So under Turex dialog box first let's select ArcGIS raster as the data source type. Click in a file. Let's select the D meters file. Uh, it is stored using uh, meters as coordinate units and also for elevation unit. So for X and Y units, select meter and for Z unit, Z units also for meters. So clicking next, there, we am, there is a message, it's a, just a warning regarding that there is no um, spatial reference in the model. Both, um, both information, the hydraulic model and the raster data don't have spatial information, but they are in the same coordinate. So it's not wrong, so you can click in OK and continue. Now this second message is regarding the total number of elements that it's outside the DEM area. So here is the result of the elevation interpolation. Click on finish. Just to check, you can go back to the flex table and load again the junction table. Now let's assign 
the junction uh, the junction missing elevation to the model. To do this, you can you can do here in the ArcMaps interface using the editors tool. Click on starting editing. It will open for editing the hydraulic model, so you can see it changing flex tables cells color to white. White represents that's capable to edit, and yellow it's read only information. Or another option is to use the Water Gems standalone version. So let's do this. So let's close ArcMaps interface, saving the hydraulic model. There is, it's not necessary to save the MXD file. And let's open Water Gems standalone. Loading the workshop 15 file. Using flex table again, we can load the junction table and apply a filter to show just the junctions without elevation. To do this, right click on the elevation column reader, select filter custom. So let's construct a query to select the elevation uh, equals to zero. So on the fields list, double click in elevation, select the equal sign and type zero. Click in OK, we have the filter applied. So all these missing nodes will receive an elevation uh, equals to 2555 meters. So applying the global edit function, it's interesting now because it applies just to the filtered elements. So if we check the where panel, we have the query function described to the global edit function. Clicking OK. There is all the, the missing information. Um, if you close the flex table with the um, filter applied, the filter will remain applied to the table. So as a consequence, if you load again the flex table, it will be an empty flex table because there is no, no elevation anymore. So after this, it's needed to reset the filter. To do this, right click in the column reader, any, any column, and select filter reset. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.